Hello, and welcome to today's OS Forensics tutorial. Today, we are going to learn how to recover deleted files from a system. This is especially useful for recovering files that the user may have attempted to destroy, as OS Forensics will scan through the selected disk for traces of deleted files. From the OS Forensics Start window, select Deleted File Search from the System Artifacts section, or from the tab on the menu on the left-hand side. A basic deleted file search involves selecting a physical disk or other device you have added to the case, such as a forensic image file, from the drop-down at the top of the window, and then clicking the search button. The default will simply scan the MFT or master file table of the device for deleted entries. You have the ability to enter search criteria in the filter string box to search for particular file names and keep in mind that the string search is not case sensitive. For a deeper scan, you will want to enable file carving in the config options. You can open this window by clicking the config button on the left of the search. File carving will search for known file headers and footers when applicable for specified file types. Instead of finding files from the master file table, File carving looks at the raw physical disk data for file headers and attempts to recover files in this manner. This requires reading all the data on the disk and as such is slower than the standard search. Once file carving is enabled, you can further customise how it performs. For FAT or NTFS file systems, OS Forensics has the ability to only index the unallocated sectors on the drive outside of the file system. This option, and the only scan on sector bounds option, are checked by default when file carving is enabled. This can significantly cut back on the overall carving time as it will only be scanning the unallocated space and only on the sector boundaries where the vast majority of deleted and recoverable files will be found. If you do wish to carve including the file system and outside of the sector bounds, simply unselect these options before clicking OK. Keep in mind, the only benefit to carving the file system itself is to recover data stored in the file slack. And depending on your investigation, you may or may not be interested in the information to be found in file slack. The range selection simply allows the user to specify a specific portion of the drive to carve. This can sometimes be useful with a corrupt or damaged drive. The list under file extensions to be scanned highlights the range of file types that will be carved. If required, advanced users can add new file types by specifying their own header and footer patterns in the Add Extension box. A detailed description of each option found in the configuration window can be found in the help file. Once you are satisfied with the customised search criteria, we can now view the results. There are a range of four options when viewing deleted file search results. The first is File Details view, which displays the search result in a table format, listing the file names along with relevant attributes and metadata. A popular view is the Deleted File List view, which displays the search results as a list of file names, along with corresponding metadata and an icon. There is a color-coded image to the left of each file that has been found, this image depicts an LED and will have a numerical value indicating the quality of the discovered file. A value close to 100 indicates the file is largely intact. The thumbnails view displays the search results as a list of thumbnails as well as with its file path. This view is useful when searching for media files, allowing the user to quickly browse through the thumbnail images. The size of the thumbnails can be adjusted using the thumbnail size slider bar. Lastly, the timeline view displays an interactive bar graph providing the user with a visual view of the distribution of files with respect to the date of the files. This view is useful for identifying date ranges where significant deleted file activity has occurred. We can also sort the discovered file results. To do this, Use the sorting drop-down box to select your preferred sort options. Options include last access date, name, and type, plus many more. To view the deleted file, double-click a discovered file. 
The viewer will then display the contents of the file, and you can use the Viewer tab to access additional information about the discovered file. Sometimes, an entire file is not recoverable, and the viewer will display a corrupted image as seen here. Just like many OS Forensics modules, you can add results to your case in a range of ways. The simplest is to simply check the files that you wish to add to the case, right-click and scroll down to the items checked. From here, you can add them directly to the case. It is important to remember that when adding the results in this way, you are not adding the deleted file, but simply the list of files. To add the actual file, to save them to disk or a logical image, checkbox the file, right-click, scroll to the number of items checked, and save deleted files to disk. For more tutorials on OS Forensics functionality, or to download a free trial of the software, visit osforensics.com.